Best Buy, perhaps you've heard that Best Buy, they're in the market for a new CEO. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you've heard that news. Yeah. Uh, but given the particular history of Best Buy, they might have a little bit of a hard time finding a new CEO. Miguel Bustillo is down in Houston with this story. Miguel, kind of walk us through Best Buy. They have a very interesting history with their CEOs, don't they? Yeah, well, this is a company that has been around for a very long time and really only has uh, has had three CEOs in its history. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, and they've all been insiders. Uh, the, the founder, uh, Richard Schultz, was the original CEO. Then uh, one of his, uh, literally one of his store salesmen who had been a, a close uh, kind of right-hand man, Brad Anderson, was the second CEO. And then another longtime store employee, Brian Dunn, who started on the store floor as a salesman, uh, became the third CEO. And so uh, now with Brian Dunn uh, resigning last week uh, amid uh, what the company is calling a personal conduct probe, uh, you have a situation where this is this company's having to look uh, perhaps outside for the first time in its history for, for a leader. Yeah, yeah, I mean, given yeah. the challenges, I wonder if that's necessarily a bad thing. Well, no. In fact, uh, you know, if you look at what happened uh, when Brian Dunn resigned uh, a week ago, the markets seemed to view it positively, and uh, I think a lot of people kind of saw it as a, you know, even to even still see it as a, a blessing in disguise. This whole situation because it may force the company to look outside for leadership at a time when it perhaps needs a, you know, a fresh voice. Yeah, and you know, to that point, Miguel, we, you know, you are. You know, you've got a company going through a CEO change. At the same time, it really has to reimagine itself. This big box retailer of electronics doesn't seem to be a very efficient model anymore. You know, are they going to be able to attract the kind, the caliber of CEO who's going to be up to the task at hand? Well, you know, one of the things we uh, noted in the piece today is uh, they do need to really reimagine the company. They were slowly moving in that direction. Um, the question uh, that may be uh, an issue for them is can they find a really independent minded CEO who has the qualifications, who wants to come in and do this in light of the fact that the founder is still a very strong presence at the company. He's the chairman of the board. And, uh, you know, he, he clearly uh, still throws his weight around at the company. So is there going to be room for someone who truly has, a, you know, a, a revolutionary vision for Best Buy to operate? Um, that, that remains an open question. Um, but, you know, without, without a doubt, they need someone who really is going to come in and move them away from the big box model and, and move them into a different type of uh, structure where they can compete with the Amazons of the world and the Apple uh, stores of the world. And right now, they don't do a very good job of those things.